Three, two, one. Hello. Welcome to Dorkies. I'm Sean. I'm Tyler. And I'm Cody. And And he did something the dark. What a lunatic. But yeah, he is right. Give us There he go! Oh, no. He is right. Mr. Wagon, give us an extra point. Boys. I'm no stranger to bitches. <laughs> Never microwave a fucking pop tart. Let this be a warning. Never let me do anything. <laughs> Why? I put instant mashed potatoes in an Oreo. <laughs> Dude, I'm the only microwave a pop tart that exploded pretty much. Hey, what? You make mashed potatoes in your mouth? <laughs> I already did that once. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been expecting. I think we, I think we uh, have our third party joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna hit top comedy. No, I said, adios. But like, me and my new assistant, he's called Franklin. Oh wait, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this on YouTube Shorts. This is Franklin. He's the new guy. Say hi to Franklin. It's a Pocky. See what I mean? And that's gonna be a dead Felicia. Stop it. I <laughs> see what I mean? Did I turn up anywhere, Lulu? And a blind Lulu, and she is not. I've neither hide nor hair of her. Mow me down, Lowen. Obviously, if she's hiding, you can't see her hair. Quit being so harebrained, or I'll give you a hiding. Silver me, Flinders. So sorry, Lloyd. I swear my I took my eyes off her for a second, I swear. How does she keep horse swiggling us? It's like she's in several places at once. A girl like that would make a good addition to the crew, I bet. You got that right, my brother, if only we could get her to sit still for a parlor. Sai, so give it up now, boys, and save yourself the trouble. I can run rings around the two of you, and you know it. Oh, uh, she's right, my brother. We need a whole pirate crew to pin her down. Lucky for us, we have bro my brother, that we'd happen to have one on call. She'll go on recount before the days through, I swear, by jaunty skeet. Uh, go on recount? You're the saddest excuse for pirates I've ever heard. Why don't you, you don't even know the no Shanty Pete's true name? Me, Lars, the Lucas, the Lincoln, the Logan, the Leland, the, and Lamar. Well, not forgetting the Lewis, the Lyle, the Liam, the Luther, the Lester, and Tom. Fucking Tom. The preceding joke was brought to you by men. <laughs> just kind of just zoomed in on the peach ass. Oh yeah. Oh, dear God, my eye. <laughs> For a second, I was just like, wait, are we all vision impaired? No, you're just wearing sunglasses. Yep. You know. Sorry, real quick. As messed up as possible, right? Oh, no. Just make a fictional character up. His name's George. He's a 12-year-old uh, boy in high school. He uh, skipped a few grades. <laughs> uh, George, the high schooler. Decided to try drugs for the first time. After trying drugs for the first time, he quickly went down a path of debauchery. His nose canal was quickly, was very quickly destroyed. He woke up 200 miles away at some random woman's home. He then decided to 
robbed the woman of her entire house. After he robbed the woman of her entire house, he realized that his dick was bleeding. After that, he decided he was going to uh, conquer an entire nation. <laughs> and then he decided to pick that nation and decided he hated them all and would conquer them all. He was going to conquer the world. However, crack was more important to him at that moment. So, he decided to make an even stronger crack that will not only stop death, but it will make him seriously high. Oh yeah, this this <laughs> feller was uh, was on just all of the crack, just all of the crack. He was on the crack so much he started to shove it up his butthole and adjust and, it that way. And after that, he decided he was gonna become God. I don't know where to go from here. On in all honesty. Uh, so to prove that he was God, he decided to jump off the biggest bone he could find. And suddenly he found himself taking flight. Holy hell, the super crack gave him superhuman abilities. Wings had sprouted from his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this is God south so fast. It's... Okay, how do I even continue this? Well, that was the point, wasn't it? Yes, yes. The point was the biggest dumb as possible. Yeah. All right, so after the wings sprouted from his bum, um, he flew at subsonic speed. Subsonic. Shattered... <laughs> no, he, he, flew, he flew at supersonic speed. There you shattering go. Shattering all the class in 20 mile radius. This was the war biggest damage that had happened to New York since September 11th. However, no one died from building collapses. Although some, one man lost his life from getting sliced in the in just the entire body with glass. They tried to find his penis. It was gone. He then decided he would start with the biggest and strongest of the places to conquer. America. And he decided that was too much, so he flew over to North Korea. <laughs> And decided to conquer it instead. He then decided to... That, no, hold on. Oh, that man. fat that fat bastard, Kim Jong-un, went down very quickly as he weighed about 457,000 pounds, fat enough for his own TLC reality show. Which will be coming soon. Kim Jong-un, by 27,000 pounds, American lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'll see, I have a special card just specifically for pooping in. <laughs> After he conquered North Korea, he moved on to China. <coughs> Is that intentional? Uh, he, he moved on to China. Xi Jinping was a bit of a more difficult fight, but he still went down pretty damn easily. He then went to Russia, where he decided to... Just kick Putin in the butt because he's very small and midgets don't deserve to have the right to live. <laughs> From there, he decided to continue conquering Ukraine. And from there, after he conquered Ukraine, he moved on to Saudi Arabia and then Romania for Andrew Tate. <laughs> Andrew, then, Andrew Tate made a video about this guy who was severely hallucinating and had basically just be been beating the ever-living shit out of random pedestrians and trees for the, the last week. <laughs> and he decided to become gay for that guy. <laughs> so after this... A after this, he asked the, the man, what color is your bugoy? <laughs> And since the man did not have a Bugatti, he made himself one out of random bark across so, Somehow, with the lack of any kind of aerodynamic knowledge, he made a Bugatti realize that the design that this man had made was so much better than the current model of Chiron that they decided to launch it as the, as the new thing, the Bugatti Speed Demon capable of nearly 350 miles an hour. This guy decided that was not fast enough. Yeah. So obviously he's going to make it faster. And, and with some more crack cocaine and everything else right. Just mixing mix it with gasoline and, and ketamine, he poured it into the engine. The, this immediately destroyed the engine, causing Bugatti to call this guy a stupid dipshit. 
And he decided he was going to take his revenge, of course, and start up a new chain of cars called the... Crack Addicts. And so he decided to spend the next decade making a car. But he's obviously not going to live that long because of uh, a certain... The first car that rolled off the assembly line was called the Escobar. I don't know. (laughs) You continue it. Then the Escobar was known... All Escobars were known to come alive and then decide to put... Make all the owners become crack addicts. And, And then we all woke up from collective psychosis, realizing that the government had putting chemicals in the had been putting chemicals in the water to concoct this crazy shit. Is it my turn? No, I, no, I, I, it'll be my turn. I, and this go. was a collective dream that they all had, but this guy was still real, and he woke up in the North Pole next to Santa Claus's wife. <laughs> Alex, jo- Alex Jones then decided, listen. Folks, look at the chemicals that they're putting in the water. Okay, they they all decided to make it clear that we were uh, we were all uh, we were we all saw inside of this guy's head this crazy crackhead's head. All right, I mean he was beating the shit out of trees, thinking they were world leaders. Like I'm telling you, folks, like the chemicals in the water, they're doing more than just turning the frogs gay. Okay, they're they're turning your children gay. You're turn they're turning you into crackheads. All right, they're gonna go, right. You're gonna lose your goddamn minds. It wants to... Oh, wait, you, you make the next part. And once everyone realized that they all became crackheads because of that guy, they decided to uh, rob him of everything he has. Unfortunately, getting to the North Pole is very difficult, as nobody seemed to own a Toyota Hilux. All right, it's my turn. Okay. So they turned to Joe Rogan, who is quite knowledgeable for psychedelic drugs. And Joe Rogan said, and realized that if he powered a car using LSD, absolutely nothing would happen, and it was a stupid idea. <laughs> but because it was funny, Joe Rogan decided to go to the North Pole, and he decided to fight the crack addict. All right. Their uh-huh. battle spread across the. In- I'm gonna go pause the video. Right, quick. Yeah. Just a little go. mumble jumble, back. but it yeah. overall, it's a good spot. Yeah. Sorry but about that, folks. We ended on Joe Rogan versus the crack addict. All right. I shall make the next part. We're going to get he... copyright strike for my notification sound. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. <laughs> anyways. Their fight was legendary. They went over to Russia. One punch destroyed mountains, and it kept getting worse. Each each kick, it, it, but they they took breaks for um, obvious narcotic reasons. And, and over the course of the fight, they of course recorded several episodes of the Joe Rogan podcast, which which Spotify realized were the most profitable the show had ever been, and henceforth increased his contract from whatever it was before to 17 years. Then, after realizing they would both make very great money from just podcasting together, they decided to become a team. So, they created the Joe Rogan and Crackhead Experience, and and this time, the man actually sprouted wings from his asshole. And this wasn't enough for him. He decided he was going to go even further down the road of fame. So he obviously went to the one place that all famous people go. California! He, as soon as he went to California, he realized that he was amongst his kind. Crackheads. Homeless people. People with no human decency who shit on the sidewalks and are very angry when hurricanes destroy all of their progress. Then, after realizing that everyone had dyed hair, he decided to rip their hairs out. He he c- covered his ass wings with the hair, but quickly realized that this was stupid, as he was no longer aerodynamic enough to actually fly, so he was just a genetic freak. Alright, he went to sleep and then he woke up. He woke up... More hungry for power. More deranged. He's more. So he snorted a mountain of crack, 
which was higher than Mount Everest, deeper than the Mariana Trench. He was higher than Snoop Doggy Dog. And with this, he pulled a super a Superman three, a Superman three, and rotated the Earth around. Not realizing that that just ma makes time go backwards only in a physical sense as no time travel actually happened he just you know made it darker and effectively made it noon so that everybody had to reset their clocks is it my turn I all right so once he figured the solution out he decided he was going to make uh, Alabama, his new home. It is going to rearrange the time schedule around the Earth, so it's all the same time. Every other country is united except for North America. This is this is really wet. This is wet. Yeah, it, it is. So, soon, he realized that this was not physically possible, even while on this massive amount of crack. And then suddenly, his heart gave out as sprouting ass wings and doing crack for the la and doing crack nonstop for the last four months had just absolutely destroyed his body. And then suddenly a physical manifestation of the Escobar Mark I took his ass directly to hell. Once Lucifer decided his punishment, he found out that Hell was actually the best place for him to be, <laughs> and tough. horrified him, <laughs> and because he enjoyed hell. The, I don't know. This, Lucifer this looked tough. all over for a, all over for a place to stick this man within hell, but then the man, still his soul, still powered on by crack, defeated Lucifer in a battle for who would rule hell. He, the man sat atop his throne, his asshole wings migrating to his shoulders, and he was the new Lucifer, and God had no idea what the flying fuck was happening. <laughs> you add God into the story. What? You'll add God into the story. I oh, add God, okay. Then God came down to hell and challenged the new Lucifer to a battle. For the new Lucifer wa was worried that he, this might be the battle he will he would lose, but he fought valiantly. But God, God realized that this man was way too dangerous, and so immediately snapped his soul out of existence, and l and old Lucifer quickly became the new Lucifer, the new old Lucifer, if you will, and retook his throne. He and God shot the shit for a little while, and then God went back to heaven. And the moral of the story is, don't wait, do crack. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, God. We could have just had him be in heaven, waiting for him, just smoking, sorry, smoking marijuana, doing crack, everything. <laughs> <laughs> now, the story has to end eventually, Cody. Yeah, yeah that, that was... That was a good, long bit. Yeah, we could have did something way better than that if we had time <laughs> if, to think. If we had time to think, yeah, he, but it was well, just... That, well, that sounded like AI. Was... That sounded like an AI story writing something up. Uh, it well, did. In our defense, though, we just did it, like, off the, on the spot. Yeah, yeah. which, it's, I mean, it was surprisingly coherent, because I, like, I decided that this is not the reality we're in, like, twice. <laughs> I just decided I'm going... I'm going to bash off the wall. I'm yeah. going all in on this drug trade. Yeah, no, I, I don't know where asshole wings came from, but I rolled <laughs> with it. <laughs> from your head, I'm I know, sure. I know. Like, I don't know what part of my psyche that's from, but I just rolled with it because it was funny. I didn't know you wanted that kind of wings, but no. <laughs> I, uh, that was a great story, though. Yeah, I, we should make it into a what, movie. Okay, what we should do is... <laughs> Red Bull in the ass. It gives you wings. <laughs> he pours Red Bull up his ass. Red Bull gives you wings. So does Wait. drugs. Wait a minute. And depending on how heavy the guy was, the wings might not have been able to support his weight, so they just rip out his colon, so it's just a flying colon. <laughs> oh, he just prolapses colon entire... Man. Oh. <laughs> it becomes colon man. Colon... Oh, no... It just becomes super colon. Do you want to make a second version of that just, story? So, or have another one. However, the man's colon still 
refused to die. So the wings flapped and flapped and flapped, and they pulled the colon out of him. It, it was this great big orange thing, and it, with its last remaining cognitive ability, decided that it would fight crime and clean up San Francisco. It immediately consumed all the homeless people and released them as fecal matter. Isn't that just doing what they're already doing, man? <laughs> right, but they can't. But it can't get any worse from this point. Oh my god! Yeah, have you seen then, a map of the old feces and stuff? Oh yeah, across? no, it's bad. The court then decided that uh, California would just suck the general, so he decided to sink it. Yeah. Yes, he flew next to the San Andreas Fault and did his very best to separate it. It then somehow commandeered one of those cat excavator things, drove it to the San Andreas Fault, lowered the bucket into the crack, and moved it. Suddenly, the uh, California split off and began to float away, defying all laws of physics. And then Puerto Rico became the 50th state of America. The end. And AOC... <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, that was a good short second part, but that, yeah. was, that was a good ending. Super colon. Super that was colon. a good ending. A good we ending we have to along. start another story up if we're going to want to do another part. Or yeah. another. I am. Hopefully, the end there from that. So. <laughs> what was I meant to do there? I got autism. That is a mental illness. And I'm yeah, probably going to get canceled for this. <laughs> gonna get canceled. Dude, if if anybody here is getting canceled, it's going to be me first, then you, then Tyler. I call him the least canceled. I'm the nicest person in this entire room. Cody! This isn't even a room! Let's pull up. Let's, let's look at the average English class. How much time <laughs> do you bring up murder on a daily basis that does not even involve me? That's besides... So, ooh, I think it's working. Well now, Aylin, but I won't hold back just because you're a girl. <laughs> That's fine with me. That's all right. <laughs> Friends call me Snow Miser. Whatever I touch, turns to snow my clutch. <laughs>